The U.S. and Haitian governments frantically working together right now to get 17 missionaries from an Ohio-based ministry released. These are hostage takings that are for ransom. They're for money. We have been following the, the developments for days here now. We have team coverage tonight of Northeast Ohio's ties to Haiti. But we begin with News 5's Mike Brookbank, who has the very latest. Mike? Yeah, Haitian police are now pointing to a notorious gang known for brazen kidnappings as the main suspects in this weekend's abductions. Christian Aid Ministries, based out of Holmes County, says they continue to monitor the situation. 16 Americans and a Canadian were kidnapped while they were on their way back from visiting an orphanage. The Haitian government says the gang has not made a ransom demand so far. Uh, the president has been briefed and is receiving regular updates on what the State Department and the FBI are doing to bring these individuals home safely. According to the Center of Analysis and Research in Human Rights, during the first six months of this year, there were at least 395 kidnappings in Haiti, compared with 88 during the same time period last year. The recent surge in abductions and rising gang violence comes as that country recovers from the assassination of its president and an earthquake that killed thousands and left tens of thousands homeless. Meanwhile, Christian Aid Ministries, they're asking people to join them in prayer for the missionaries being held hostage. In the newsroom tonight, Mike Brookbank, News 5. All right, thanks so much, Mike. And Ohio leaders calling for the safe and immediate return of those hostages. Senator Sherrod Brown saying while his office is in contact with the State Department, they have little information just like the rest of us. We stand with our country and with these workers. I know a number of them come from Holmes County, uh, not too far from Worcester. And um, we, we pray for them, but, and equally importantly, uh, our government, the State Department, the Defense Department will stand with them and do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe. Congressman Dave Joyce says missionaries going to Haiti shouldn't have to fear for their lives. He also said we need to bring peace and order to that country. People across Northeast Ohio are keeping a close eye on this developing situation in Haiti. Some are natives of the Caribbean nation and others have traveled there themselves to offer help. News 5's Bob Jones continues our team coverage this evening, speaking with students and staff at the University of Akron with ties to Haiti. Bilo Isaac is studying electrical engineering at the University of Akron. He came to Akron from Haiti in 2019 and loves his native country for its beautiful landscape and people. The smile, you know, that you would find in uh, the Haitians, despite our, you know, the life that the economic hardship that we were uh, we were facing. Bilo was deeply worried by the kidnappings of 17 missionaries, including five children by a Haitian gang. The missionaries are part of Christian Aid Ministries based in Holmes County. If things like that are happening, it's not good for the country. They're making people uh, afraid, you know, of visiting it or seeing the beautiful side of it. Well, Haiti is a really beautiful country. It's a fascinating country. Kevin Smith organized about 10 trips called Zips for Haiti for University of Akron students. The most recent journey was in early 2020. Smith says students are exposed to leadership and service based projects to help the Haitians. So they'll climb a mountain and they'll go on a hike. They'll spend time with kids. They'll do English second language tutoring and they'll work in schools. Smith is concerned about the negative impact the kidnappings will have on Haiti, a country he says needs a lot of aid and goodwill. It does hurt our perception of Haiti and it makes it more threatening for us as American citizens to be able to travel and have a relationship with people in that country. Smith stressed there are other compounding factors for Haiti's struggles. You have a presidential assassination you have global pandemic, you have lack, uh, a, a complete lack of resources. The Zips for Haiti program is on pause. No trips there since 2020 because of the pandemic. But they hope to return there one day and they hope for more stability in the country. We don't have any intentions of returning until we can deem it's a safe experience for our students. As for Bilo, he prays for the missionaries, his family living in Haiti, and peace for the country he loves. We are worried that, you know, it's going to get worse. You know, we're not going to improve. In, the country will not improve at all. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. So we will, of course, continue to follow the very latest for the search for those kidnapped missionaries with the latest information from Haiti and here in Ohio, both on air and online.